Hello everyone, if you're watching this video, it's most probable that you have bought a Fabx 3D printer or maybe looking forward to buy one. And uh, some people face difficulties of installing the required drivers, uh, installing the required software, uh, calibrating their Fabx machine uh, before starting their first print. And they, came, they come up with a lot of queries. And uh, if you're one such a person, if you face similar kind of uh, difficulties, high five. You are in the right place so this video is all about that and we'll be looking through them step by step shortly and i have provided a link in the description uh, which contains some useful information uh, so yeah begin with opening the link and let's download it So the file we have downloaded is a compressed file. Make sure you extract them before going to the next step. I have done it earlier. And it contains uh, four files, namely. Uh, the four files are like uh, the serial install is the driver, which is used for interfacing the printer with the software. And box is a sample file for that. That's the thing which we're going to print right now in this video. And we got a Fabix guide and uh, yeah this is a configuration file for a fabx printer so let's uh, open up the fabx guide uh, yeah so you can see you got uh, the list of contents which you will receive in the shipment uh, make sure you check that when you receive your shipment and in the startup process of the Fabex, uh, that is, uh, yeah, we need to install the driver and we need to download and install the suitable latest version of Cura. So the software link is embedded in the guide. And once again, uh, I will provide the link in the description. That will be the second link. And uh, if you're a Windows user, go for Windows. Mac or Ubuntu, they have their respective links. Yeah, in Windows, it's obvious that uh, these kind of things prompts up, so it's no issue. You can just go ahead with it. And now, yeah, make sure you check all the boxes so that you'll be able to open the OBJ files and the AMF files. And let's install the device driver. Okay, without any due, we will start opening Cura. So this is the basic Cura window and uh, for first time users, you will be receiving uh, these kind of uh, windows. Uh, so exact details are present in the guide. You can just check it out and fill, the, fill up the details. And apart from that, we need to uh, load the configuration file of Fabex into Cura. So for that, let's go to file and uh, let's open profile. And fabx.ini is the configuration file which we have downloaded earlier. So yeah, notice how the values have changed right now. So yeah, in fa in Cura, you got a lot of parameters like the retraction quality, speed. Uh, uh, so a lot of stuffs and uh, yeah in uh, and another interesting thing is like you you'll be able to learn all the things when you just place your you just hover the mouse about each things so make sure you just read all those stuffs that will be pretty important and now let's load our sample box file Uh, yeah, and 3D printing technology is actually additive technology, so which means that the printer prints layer by layer. And uh, in our case, let's change the view to the layers so that we'll be able to see 
uh, the number of layers so in our case we have 50 layers for this uh, sample box and uh, the yellow color stuffs inside the thing are the fill fill elements the red one are the outer shell and the fill density is at 25 percent right now so if we change to 10 percent notice how the fill uh, has changed inside so if you go to 20 percent it uh, you're gonna get 20 percent of fill and uh, if you're gonna put 100 percent that's gonna be a rock solid it's gonna be a hundred percent fill yeah we, we have a full solid yellow color structure inside and uh, in our case we won't be requiring 100% fill density uh, because uh, sitting 100% fill density will increase the time so it's 24 minutes right now uh, with 100% fill and you'll be requiring 1.7 meter and uh, 5 grams of fill and so I guess for our configuration for this small size of box 20% fill will be more efficient one and the time has ETA has changed uh, to just nine minutes and we'll be requiring just 0.7 meter of filament so all this information Cura handles superb uh, so you'll be uh, you'll be knowing the exact amount of uh, filament which you'll be requiring and yeah so let's install the driver the serial install is uh, is also present in the downloaded file the first uh, link which I have provided so that thing will be there and uh, make sure you just unplug and replug your USB and notice how the save icon has changed to print with USB icon once you are done with that since we have just installed the driver right now and once this is done go to your uh, device manager uh, this is one important step in device manager find search for ports yeah, and we have the 10C USB serial and that's present in COM3. So make a note of it, we'll be using it. And in our case, in this case, this is COM3 and uh, maybe in your system, it might vary. So yeah, in mission, in mission settings, set it to COM3. And uh, without any due, let's hit the print button. So you'll be getting a uh, window and uh, if you're not getting this kind of uh, window uh, s go to file preferences and uh, select pro interface UI and yeah I have just mentioned it, mentioned it as a note and uh, yeah set, set the temperature to 185 I have just time lapsed the video this usually takes a lot of time maybe like one minute or so uh, so one, 180 180 is the ideal temperature for uh, so 180 is ideal 185 maybe yeah 185 will be the ideal temperature for PLA filaments for ABS is a different temperature and in our case we're gonna print it with uh, PLA so 185 will be fine and uh, notice the small uh, uh, prop I mean right angled uh, segments of circles so these segments represent uh, the moment of the axis so 0 0.1, 1, 10, 100 are all in mm. So when we press the respective axis, so in our case I'm pressing 1 mm. So the printer, I mean the head moves 4 mm. Now it's 10 mm, so it's more for 10 mm. And uh, yeah, so now let's go back in x minus axis. So we can do this for all the axes present in the printer. So we have x, y, z, and the extruder axis. So yeah, so in Y axis, again 10 mm. Okay, let's come back. And uh, there are little uh, icons present at the corners. So the, uh, yeah, so they are the home positions. Now let me click on the home position of, uh, of the printer. So once you click that, the head moves to the home position. Uh, all the axis, the X, Y, Z, axis comes to its respective home position and uh, I'm just moving the Z axis notice the Z axis going down in the video in the background so let's prepare our build plate we'll be using masking tapes for this purpose 
so you'll be receiving these tapes during your shipment and one crucial part is that when you place a second tape make sure it doesn't overlap or neither it does have any gap between the tapes it should be a single uniform layer of tape so that ensures a better a better print quality and uh, it takes some time for you to the first time so that doesn't matter so if you need to get a good quality print make sure you do it yeah and now let's go to the extruder part so now we're gonna insert the filament in the extruder I just press the hinge uh, at the top and just uh, insert the extruder into the hole and clamp it up so it's very simple and once that is done uh, we need to increase the extruder axis by uh, pressing the 10 mm yeah, and notice how the filament is coming out of, out from the extruder and during all these process make sure you have a, a forceps in your hand uh, so that will be handy so whenever filament gets leaked up or when it just uh, sticks to the nozzle make sure you uh, just clean it up so the calibration part is a very important part that ensures a, a better quality print and for this purpose we're going to use a A4 sheet paper so insert the A4 sheet paper uh, between the nozzle and the bill plate and uh, make sure that the paper uh, moves uh, just as tight as possible I mean the friction should not be very high and it should not be neither loose it should be optimal you'll be getting it only by practice and we need to do this process for all the four edges of the bill plate and we are we are done with the three parts so this is the final one and uh, it can be adjusted using the hint, uh, the screw types thing which is present beneath just turn it clockwise and anti-clockwise and make sure you get the right friction and uh, now let's start the printing as I told you earlier before starting printing uh, I have the forceps in your hand and uh, you need to clean the nozzles part uh, because uh, the printing uh, when it's uh, if there is any sticky things present and you're gonna have that thing in your final print Hope you guys have uh, printed it well and uh, yeah if you have any queries feel free to contact us thank you